first game of the campaign, what's your thoughts? I thought we were really good, I was going to use a stronger you know, <laughs> adjective, but I'm not get too carried away. For the first 45 minutes, we were really good. Um, played with energy, quality, physicality, and it was good to watch you know, against a very, very good Dunfermline team. Um, we bit disappointed we never got another goal to sort of show for our sort of dominance in terms of the energy we put in. And then it just came down to a, a crazy wee moment and we, we end find ourselves two one down and you know I think it went it went really, really sore on them if they hadn't taken something from the game because they put so much into it. And I, I keep saying we're probably three or four games behind the likes of them firmly, you know, because of the you know, the cancellations in the, the League Cup and then obviously we're disruption but we need to go over that quickly there were a few tired legs out there in the last 15 20 minutes but uh, no I think for their efforts and their commitment in the first half alone they deserve to take something from the game nothing better for a manager than when he makes a decision puts a player on and he goes and scores a wonder goal are we calling it a wonder goal I don't know whether it's a wonder goal or a deflection but it doesn't matter because he was in that position you know to try and make it happen Young Lewis is probably the midfield player that you know everybody's talked about for a number of years. Um, he's went away during the summer there, albeit it was only a short period, and he's come back and he's looked fit. Um, and he deserved you know to go in there at that point, you know, just because Darren was obviously struggling. Darren's another one that's missed time with training, so it caught up with him there as well. Um, so we've got the younger ones to go on, you know, and they can make an impact like that. And it's fantastic to see. And yeah, we were talking up in commentary that it's difficult to really form an opinion on the first 90 minutes of the season, but overall you'd be quite happy. Well, I was more than happy, I thought I was delighted with it, you know, I think some real positive signs there. You've got to remember who you're playing against, you know, that's a team that will be expecting to be challenging at the top of the league, you know, and looking to try and get promotion with what they've, you know, how they've went about their business, which has been very, very good. But we're at home there in that game there, and I think we showed we're intent, you know, especially you know, I think the key thing was there was a reaction to going 2-1 behind. The heads didn't go down, it was as if they you know, just galvanised them that little bit more. And I thought Mark Russell again comes on and has an impact on the game. And that's what we've said since we've been in. The subs have got to play their part, stay focused in the game when they're on the side. And when and if they get that opportunity to go on in that situation, make an impact. And Mark did that. A few players we could have picked out for man of the match. Alan Lithgow certainly thought had a really consistent performance at the bye, but the choice of the sponsors and indeed Big Andy was because up front he had a real impact. Yeah, he's been very, very impressive since he came into the club. Um, leads the line well. Uh, I thought Robbie was a little bit unfortunate in the first half, could have got a goal. Um, but they look a potent, you know, strike force. They're, they're forming a decent partnership there. I don't think many centre backs would enjoy playing against him, but got to get the right service to him so that you know he gets us up the pitch. But he does that, you know, he fights and scratches, but there's more to him than that. He's got quality as well. Uh, and he had uh, a good game today. Chris as always, thanks for your time and well done to you. Cheers Jerry, thank you.